Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. A video on how to record a noha latmiya. Yes, this video will explain to the dear viewers how to actually go about the process of recording a video, be it a nasheed, a noha, a latmiya, whatever you want it to be. The video that we are showing you here is Valim. This is our recent work which is portraying the Bulum of that time of Fatima to Zahra alayha, and the Bulum which means oppression that's happening in today's society by understanding who is the enemy of today's society. So we don't fall in the trap of being on the enemy side. This requires more of a modern approach of filming. It's not the classic get a person to recite in the sand dunes or next to a wood or a black screen. It requires imagery to try and capture what's happening in today's society so then the viewer at home when they are seeing it, they can relate to it and then that helps them understand the message that's being portrayed better. The lyrics only does half the job, the videography does the other half. So it's important to merge the two so the idea comes across well. Here, Vaad and the oppression, of course, there are many oppressors in today's societies. Um, they try and keep hidden, yet we know who the oppressors are if we just have an open mind. Hence why we did this video to explain to the viewer, let's not be like those who are asleep, wandering around like sheep. They want us as mindless fools. And then it goes on to explain how they are trying to make us as mindless fools. Instead of just looking down, so the lyrics, the idea first of all needs to stem from somewhere. The idea is personally for me, for my know has come from me and I then speak to poets to go and write it. I give them an idea of what I want in each paragraph. Sometimes they do whatever they want and then it ends up being much better, which is fantastic. I just give them a, a little um, encouragement of what kind of direction we're heading for. Others don't stick to the guideline and give us it and they put in their poetic skill set and bring it out to how it should be. Inshallah we'll do another future video regarding poetry itself because that's a whole topic in itself. We've got the poetry ready and then we're bringing it to life and that's hence the videography. Initially, you need to have a camera set up. So you can either hire a person who is a videographer and who can also edit, or you can buy the cameras with the stand, with the lighting, and get somebody from your family to record it. This requires a skill set. You need to learn how to record and edit. So it's a whole process which you can use YouTube. They, there's a lot of videos out there explaining how to record a video. So if you wanted your family members to record the video for you, go ahead and do a bit of research on how to do this and then buy your equipment first. Otherwise, you can go hire somebody to go do it for you. In the long run, it's cheaper for you to go and do it yourself. Keep it all in-house. Make sure you get good camera equipment. So save up, invest, and get yourself a decent pair camera, a lens, and also the other things in the travel. We've put a link in the description of the ones that we use, so you're more than welcome to order those ones. We found them to be very useful and helpful in recording good quality content. Make sure whenever you serve the Ahlul Bayt Ali Wasalam, it's always top-notch quality content because they are deserving nothing less than that. <laughs> You've got the equipment, the ropes, the chains from B&Q. You can buy a lot of props from online, you know, just search for what you want, fake blood, whatever it might be, order it and use it in your videography. Now the setting that you use is very important and that setting is dependent on the lyrics that is written. Ours is about oppression, so it needs to show a very dark, gloomy atmosphere to represent the concept of oppression. If I did Valim, the oppressor, in fields where there's roses and dandelions, it doesn't match, it doesn't make sense. So you need to match the concept with the videography. That's why we picked um, this room. This room is actually my brother's house, which is being renovated. It doesn't need to be very expensive to pick a place where to record the video. We are using here two individuals, actors, which to be honest with you, you could just use your friends, anyone that's got a bit of acting skills, use them. You don't need to hire somebody professional. If you want to go down that route, go ahead of it. We use our friends, they want to act, they want to participate. Your father, barely six feet under. Recording a video is quite a challenging and time-consuming thing. 
However, the motivation is of course you're knowing that you're going to be serving the Ahlul Bayt Ali Musalam and this is your Sadaqa Jariya and hopefully you'll be continuing to attain good deeds, thawab after you die by the people who view it. Of course it is tiring so make sure you're well rested during the day so when you actually are recording it you are fully motivated and prepared to bring it out the best video as possible and that requires energy if you're recording it during the daytime make sure you have plenty of rest the night before it is tiring it takes a good a couple of hours until you finish what you need to do you need to make sure you have a storyboard before you go and record the video because without a storyboard you don't know what you're actually filming it's just Oh, this is a good idea, let's record this. Oh, this is an idea, let's record this. No, be organized. You have A roll and B roll. A roll is the main part of the video. In this case, it's the person who's reciting it. The B roll is the stories that's implemented within the video to bring it to life. Our B roll in this video is the people who are acting, the people who are blindfolded, the person that's on his phone. We add those to bring more ideas into the video that's also related to the concept of oppression. So make sure you have A roll, I'm gonna talk, this is the person that's gonna recite and he's gonna be reciting in this location. B roll, these are the creative ideas that I'm gonna include in my video and I'm gonna include them here, paragraph one. I'll include, and include this idea in paragraph three. You're organized, you know what you're doing. So each line, you know how you're going to film it. To think of ideas, you need to think outside the box. If you just copy people, you can do that, but if you wanna bring it even more to life and make it your own creative content, make sure you think outside the box. Think of something that hasn't been done before, but is very relevant to today's society, so it captures the reader's attention to hopefully change their mind if they are doing something wrong, or to encourage them to do something that is worthy of their time. When you are recording, make sure you know what you're recording first, second, third, fourth. Quite often, if you don't have a big team around you, you have to be the director as well as the reciter itself. In my case, I have to sometimes direct, tell people, don't make sure, let's do this part first, do this part, whilst also bearing in mind the lyrics that I've memorized beforehand before going onto the set. So when I speak, I am confident with what I'm saying, but at the same time, I need to make sure that the other parts of the video are done properly, so you are multitasking. You can also have a director, a family friend or a professional director, no problem at all, but if you don't have a big team, then you can just do it yourself. You can work with your cameraman, maybe they have some ideas of what you can include inside the video. Make sure you don't waste time when you're recording because some people they record for like 30 minutes then they have an hour break. This makes the whole thing very tiresome. Be on top of it. Once you've finished one segment move on straight to the next segment because if you have these big gaps quite often the case you won't finish what you intended to do. So make sure you are organized you, you start off recording, then you move on to the next recording. Anything that you felt that wasn't recorded correctly, do it again there and then. And that's how the process of recording goes quickly, smoothly, and efficiently. Just keep scrolling with your thumbs, be absent Don't worry if your first video doesn't come out as well as you hoped it to be. Of course, this is a process. We started off where we had to do a bit of trial and error until we're getting towards the quality that we actually want. Even now, we're still continuing to learn and develop and it's an ongoing thing forever. You can always buy better camera equipment. You can always learn a new skill set. You can always get better lighting. You can always pick better venues. It's a constantly growing thing. Even the editing, you'll always have a new software. It's not the end of the road if you don't do a great job on your first recording, there's always plenty of time to edit and learn and then re-record and do it again until you catch your momentum and the way that you do things. Remember, Rome was not built in one day. Of course, this is a very hard task to do if you've never done it before. But always remember, this is always for the Ahlul Bayt Ali Musalam, in yearness to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. It's not for personal gain. You're not doing it to become a celebrity of some sort. It's always about serving the Ahlul Bayt in the best way possible by providing the platform, the best content as possible. In this case, we were serving Fatima to Zahra Sallallahu Alaihi May Fatima to Zahra grants all the Shias Shifa'a on the day of judgment and may she grant those who serve the Ahlul Bayt like you dear viewers on the day of judgment with the best of intercessions in nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we thank you for watching this video we hope it was beneficial any questions or comments please put it in the comment section below and always remember let's be the 313